is the Condamine Hotel. Hotel. This is the Condamine River. This is the township of Miles in Queensland, en route to Roma, Australia Hotel or Hotel Australia. We go down the street one way and turn around and go back the other way and have a look and see what's out the other side of town. The Windsor Hotel, Queensland Hotel coming up, there's pubs everywhere here. Yeah? service station down here in the corner which uh, I thought well it's fairly expensive for fuel I just might go from my experience in the past and have a look elsewhere and see what else is in town and sure enough we found another service station up the other end of town 15 cents a litre cheaper amazing calculating route And that's where we found our fuel 15 cents cheaper than what it is at the other end of town. And that service station is the 15 cent era one. And that's all it's got to say about the This is Dogwood Creek and comes with all the creeks up here. It's, it's a river. All the rivers are creeks and This is Judge Lagoon. It's just out of Eulabar where we ended up staying last night. Beautiful little spot. It's a camping spot. Swinging back the other way, the uh, lagoon actually runs up alongside the road as you turn in off the main road. Really very pretty in here. This is a free camping spot. Tons of room here. It really is very nice. This is Yulabar. station Little bar station over there in the background
between Yule Bar and Surratt there is a, a native wells rest area. And here are the native wells, and, uh, in comparison to the size of the vehicle. There's another one just over here. And there's a lot of rock holes, they tend to be always full of water. Unfortunately the place is not being looked after as it should probably. Native Wells Rest Area. This particular road was part of the Common Co route between Yulabar and St George. And there was a rest stop down this way, or rest stops along the way. We're on the Roma Condamine Road and uh, we had the option of going down to Surratt on a dirt road or whether to take the bitumen option, uh, option we decided to take the bitumen option by the look of some of the uh, grass that's in the fences. Yeah, we're on top of the Warrenbilla River and there's no water down there at all. And yet, just back up the road a wee bit stuff hanging off the fences everywhere so there's obviously been a lot of water come through here not so long ago a lot of water out in the creek out there and the signage back there saying there's water over the road well there's not a lot over the road now but there certainly has been Done was get you to walk ahead and film the car coming through. <laughs> oh, what shoes! Oh, I got wet. Flashes on my limbs. Oh, the birds here. <laughs> well, I wonder if this is from that storm last night. And I'd say there's a bit of road being washed away just there. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. Funny how the idea went through my head that I wonder, and then it happened. <laughs> <laughs> they should know about that and have a sign up. This is a tree full of parrots. That's for the banks of the Bioni River. There are simply hundreds of these things here.
understanding of this is just had a million dollars spent on it to be refurbished. It's now being repainted back in the original colours. And apparently the people who did the job have won some major award for the work they did here. It's just miles and miles and miles of countryside like this. It's just, it's just grass. And how much of it is uh, grown as a result of the, uh, the flooding or whatever, but it's just, just tall grass everywhere. This is Green Swamp. It's on the main road between Roma and, uh, and Surratt. aftermath of the uh, floods. As you can see this tree was well and truly underwater when the floods were happening. Not so long ago. If you enjoyed this video there's over 200 more just like it on this channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell and we'll let you know when our next video is available. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you weren't that impressed, please don't hit the dislike button. Instead, tell us why, so that we can do something about it. Thanks for watching.